So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a video portal using our video script, which you can get from videoscript.com. So first, you go to your file manager. You go to public HTML. Now, you upload now you upload the file because you upload the script the first one is the zip file then the second one is the sfq file you go to cities and you upload the script Upload this script. This is the second one. This is the first one. So you upload this one. This is the ZIP file. So by the third, let's keep waiting. Probably takes on a few minutes. It has been completed 100%. So let's go back. So you can find it here. Now we'll go back to our C panel. Just try to follow the step I'm following. Then you come to my SQ at database, which is this part. Yeah, you'll be able to create a database. The database help you is what save for the script types. Whatever be uploaded in the database is being visible and stable to the main file manager. So you name your database. Name your database. So I will name this database. So you can name your database any name. Provided it's name that you can use to reflect back to it or reference back to it. So the database has been created. The next step is to add user. 
So you go back. From this part, this part you're going to add user. So you add your username. So let me give my using test admin. And just give the password and give the password. Any password. So, to enable us not to forget this password, let's type it up somewhere way. You can see it. Access to admin. So you copy it. Come back to our and paste it there. It's very important for you to So it is very important for you to be able to write the name down, denote the name on a sheet of paper or Microsoft. So you create a user.
so it is not time to add user to current database add user to current database so this was the user we created this is your um server host name this is your cpane username and this is the data the user you could for a database or you created before so we are giving this user access to this database this is the your cpane name it can be yours you know be my and this is your username and this is your cpane name and this is your database so you are giving this this user access to this database so you add user now the next step what kind of privilege access you want to give to this user so since the user is your admin give them the whole access the whole privilege to this database look at the user look at the database so give them all privilege and save and make changes this is very important sources you have already created the database so you go back Now we go back to our cPanel. We go back to our cPanel where we started from. Yes, uh, so you go back to your cPanel. And go to database. And to PHP MyAdmin. Please watch this video carefully. You can see my existing database and this is the main one I just created for this work now that is the one you open make sure you open that right database you can see it okay it's been opened Ensure that this your database we're working on is doing work so you know upload the file on the wrong database or on the wrong part. 